In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the hot add features of VMware on a virtual machine. So we'll demonstrate hot adding uh, CPUs, memory, as well as adding some virtual disks. So if we look over here, we've got two virtual machines running, demo virtual machine, which is a Windows 2008 R2 box, data center edition, and a Windows 2003 standard edition virtual machine. To be able to add memory or CPU to a VM, you have to right click on the VM and edit settings. Now without enabling the hot add features, you'll see that to change the memory, it's grayed out as well as the CPUs, those are both grayed out. So what you need to do is go to options and click on the memory hot add, memory or CPU hot plug button. You'll see that they are currently both disabled and they're grayed out. I can't change these while the virtual machine is powered on. So to be able to do hot add, you have to shut off the VM initially. Now once you power off the VM initially, we'll go ahead and do this. So um, in your templates as you're building VMs, you can go ahead and already have these configured so that they're enabled in your templates and they'll be enabled for all VMs. So we're going to go in here and I'm going to turn on and enable CPU and memory for this 2008 R2 VM and then we'll go ahead and power that on and then we'll do it as well for 2003. Now the interesting thing with 2003 is when we look at this you'll see I have the ability to enable hot add for the memory but not for the CPU with uh, with 2003. However I, I can do a couple of uh, interesting things here. I can change the type of operating system. So I can go ahead and say that this is a Windows 2008 R2 box even though it's 2003. So I'll click OK, let it register there. Then we'll go back in and we'll edit settings. And then we'll enable the hot add of memory and CPU. Wait for that and then we'll We'll power it on. And you'll say that even though we enabled that, it's still booting up and you'll see it's Windows 2003. So that's coming up. We'll give that a, a little bit of time to come up and then we'll, we'll look at a couple of different things here. Um, first thing I'm going to look at, let's go to Windows 2008. Open the console here. We'll just start Windows normally. And then you got that because I did a power off versus a shutdown. Okay, so now that this guy's rebooted, we'll go ahead and log on here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we open up Task Manager on this particular VM. All right, and you'll see this currently has two megs of memory and one virtual CPU. So we'll go to VM and we'll click on Edit Settings. And we can bump the memory to, let's say, four gigs of RAM and the CPU to two CPUs. Now, what's interesting is what we'll see in Task Manager here in a second. If you look behind here, you'll see it just got done reconfiguring the virtual machine. And over here, you'll see the number of installed processors has changed. We need to either restart or close Task Manager. So we'll restart it, and you'll see now it shows both CPUs and the memory is listed as 4 gigs. So very simple to do that. Let's look at this in 2003 uh, because it is kind of interesting what we get here. Same process, we'll go through here. Let's open up Task Manager, go to Performance. You'll see this guy currently has two CPUs and uh, four gigs of memory, so we'll make it a little bit bigger. So Edit Settings, we'll bump it up to uh, six, and we'll give it three sockets. And we'll see what we get over here. So we found new hardware. Let we'll use Windows Update. You'll, you'll um, see that we really don't see the hot add of the memory yet. Let's go ahead and reopen Task Manager. Still showing four gigs. You'll see the wizards timing out here. So you'll see it, it wasn't able to install the new hardware on here. Uh, what we would need to do is just do a regular reboot on this virtual machine. So let's go ahead and do that. You'll see we now show up as three CPUs and six gigs of memory. So it wouldn't allow us to hot add the CPUs. If we changed it back to 2003 where it should have been, it would have allowed us to do the memory. Um, but it's not real destructive. I have seen it do some blue screens in the past. So I wouldn't recommend it uh, for machines that don't support it. Um, Windows 2008 and higher and data center edition are the only ones that actually support um, hot add of CPU. Memory has quite a few more. OSs.